thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. As Alberta faces a severe economic downturn and tragedy in Fort McMurray, I see people coming together, being creative and stepping up to help their neighbours. The people of Alberta are doing more with less, and I see this everywhere. Everywhere, that is, except the provincial government. The Premier said she will honour public sector contracts, but the situation has drastically changed. The province is not in the same position as when these contracts were negotiated, and Alberta's tremendous public servants understand that when 100,000 of their neighbours are out of work, it's only fair to earn the same next year as you earned this year. To the Premier, are you open to renegotiating public sector agreements to bring in a wage freeze? Thank you, Honourable Member. The Honourable Premier. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I've answered this question a number of times, but I'm happy to uh, uh, answer it again. Uh, under the laws of our country, as well as our province, uh, labor relations uh, collective agreements are a matter of law, and uh, it's not my view that we break those agreements once we've made them. Now, we will certainly engage in future negotiations in a very careful way, understanding that our obligation is to the people of Alberta to ensure that we get good deals on new contracts. But we will not be... Uh, uh, breaching the determinations of the Supreme Court of Canada on this matter and, and breaching uh, already uh, appropriate... Thank you, Honourable Premier. First supplemental. Well, that's very curious, Mr. Speaker, because clearly one group of public servants is being treated differently than the rest. During estimates, the Minister of Health confirm that the budget includes savings from reductions to physician compensation. Now, I think the Alberta Medical Association deserves praise for agreeing to come to the table in difficult times, especially in light of yet another credit rating downgrade. Now, to the Premier, have you approached other public sector unions with the same request that they come to the table to help find savings in an economic crisis? Honourable Premier. Well, Mr. Speaker, what we have done is we have gone to those groups who were not unionized, and we have said we want to look at uh, freezing your salaries. And so, for instance, we have done that with senior managers in the government of Alberta and also at agencies, boards, and commissions. AMA is also not a union, and doctors are not unions. So, yes, we have approached uh, them as well, and uh, we will continue to do that because we have an obligation on the part of uh, Albertans to try to avoid the 6%-ish a year increases that are ha coming from that particular sector right now. Second supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now, the Premier and others have said in the past that you can't discuss your plans to, in order to preserve the bargaining process, yet the Minister of Health has said that she expects physicians to go along with her assumptions on cost savings, which were laid out in the budget before contract negotiations even begun. Again to the Premier, which is it? Are you honouring the bargaining process and existing contracts, or are you prejudging the outcome of negotiations before even sitting down to bargain? Honourable Premier. Well, again, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Again, we're talking about a different, uh, two different types of conversations. But to be clear, you can talk about uh, generalized uh, assumptions with respect to cost without that necessarily being negotiations of, uh, on, on particular issues. And so uh, you, one does not negate the other. So the Minister is having uh, respectful conversations right now, and I believe she will continue to do so, Mr. Speaker.